hello, hello. Happy Saturday, everybody. If you are returning, thank you for coming back to join me. And if you are new, welcome. Please let me know in the chat. Say hi. Let me know where you're from and how you found me. We would love to welcome you to the community. So some of you might know, but today being September 2nd, we are starting a new series for this month. And this month is focusing on being grateful. So I have three stamp sets here that we are going to be using. And one of them, Biggest Wish, is a carryover. But these two right here are new. These are both in our holiday catalog, which launches next Wednesday, September 6th. This coordinates with a punch duo in the annual, these shapes right here. And this is just a set that is all sentiments for all different holidays. So that is what I chose to use today. And then for the paper, we're actually using one of the Christmas papers. And this just shows you how extremely versatile our DSP can be. So this is actually the Merry, Bold, and Bright paper. I may be incorrect on the name. Let me double check really quick. I know that's the name of the suite of products. I am correct. Merry, Bold, and Bright is the name of the paper. So maybe the suite is named something different. I'm not going to waste your time and look, but the suite comes with obviously the paper and it comes with stamps and dies. Super fun. I love non-traditional Christmas colors. If you've watched my videos before, you've probably heard me mention that. So I thought it would be fun to pair it up with some of our brighter colors and just have some fun. So these are the colors, not the colors, but the cards that we're going to make today. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we are going to make is this one, and this is super simple. Now, keep in mind too that this only used one sheet of paper from the DSP pack, not even a full sheet, maybe half of a 12 by 12. So maybe, I don't know, a six by 12 portion of it. But I just used one sheet of paper for all of these cards and had a ton left over. So the first one, which we are going to, I don't know. I suppose I could make that stripe color, that blob. I don't know why that's on there, but anywho. So our first card, we're going to use a basic white base. A2, the standard size here in the States. And what I've done is I have simply cut three strips of paper. And it's just three strips of half inch by six. And these will fit on the front of your card, all of them. And then we will trim off the excess. So let me grab my glue here. I finally stopped being lazy and went and got some glue out of my little cabinet where I keep all my extra stuff. And I did not need to put glue all the way across that, so just ignore. I'm gonna grab my silicone mat really quick. Even though this mat is silicone and um, this wipes off really easy. But fortunately, I had a um, <laughs> diaper wipe sitting over there that I had picked up. Okay. Oh, quit. All right, so we've got our first strip down and then our second strip is going to use the opposite side, which has these cute stars. True to form, I already have ink all over me. Again, didn't need to do, do that. And then this one is going to be stripes. And I'm just leaving, again, put too much glue on. I'm just leaving a bit of a gap between the pieces of paper. You can leave a larger gap, a smaller gap, whatever you like the look of. And I'm gonna push these down on my silicone mat only because I've got glue on them. 
and I'm gonna have to trim these off, but I didn't want to have too much glue. So I'm just gonna use these big scissors here. These are actually my much beloved ribbon scissors from Stampin' Up, but over the years, I've had some children that have used them for various things, so they just kind of get used as whatever right now. I had to buy some new ribbon shears. Okay, so let me move these out of the way here. I will clean those later. And I am going to grab my diaper diaper wipe again that has ink on it, of course. Why wouldn't it? So I can get some of that glue off my hands. Okay. So we've got our stripes or strips of paper down. And then I have got a circle here cut from Stylish Shapes and then a piece of lemon lime twist that is cut with one of the deckled circles dies. And these are going to be in the new holiday catalog. So those are going to layer, but first we are gonna go ahead and stamp. So let me bring in my foam mat here. And for this, I used Garden Green. I'm sorry, not Garden Green, Granny Apple Green and Shaded Spruce. So I'm going to stamp thanks first. And the one thing I love about this Biggest Wishes stamp set is the different fonts. And that's not the stamp that I want. We were gonna stamp thanks twice there for a minute. So I'm gonna stamp thanks first. And I'm using my foam mat to get a good impression. And then we are going to stamp friend I've already got shaded spruce on me and all I did was use it once, so boy. We're gonna stamp friend in granny apple green and I've stuck my finger in that as well. And I just think it's so neat that you can use a dark and a light or a mid-tone and then stamp one on top of the other I really like the way that looks. Okay, let's move this out of the way and we will go ahead and adhere our circle to the lemon lime deckled circle. And then we're just gonna put that right there. But I do have a couple other elements on this card. I've done some flicking with marker and I've also stamped this cute little cluster of crosses whoops, in pool party. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and also grab my stamp and blend marker to do some of the flicking. And I like to rotate my stamps if I'm going to stamp a pattern instead of just doing them all the same direction. Okay, so the next card we're going to make is this one. This one uses a blueberry bushel card base. And we have a piece of the striped paper that we cut strips from before and then another piece of it, but on the B side. And then I have a strip of pool party here that we're gonna stamp on and we're gonna punch out the end a little bit. So one of the things I like to do is kind of fold down a corner of the paper if the pattern is small enough to actually be shown. And then I will staple it down and then I will adhere it to my paper. And I just think that's kind of fun. So we'll go ahead and put this down. And we will adhere 
this piece. And this striped piece here is three and a half by four and a half. And then this star strip is one by four and a half. And then my blue strip here that we're going to stamp on is a half by three and five eighths. And for this, we're gonna stamp in blueberry bushel and I'm going to use the little thanks stamp out of the medley mix stamp set, which you will see in the holiday catalog. Okay, so there we have our little banner, and that is the um, Banner's Pick-A-Punch. We have several, we'll pick a punch, just smoothing out my paper there because it was kind of bungled up. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that under here. I am going to use the same embellishments, the ombre dots. However, I also want to do some paint flicking on this one because I felt like it just needed a little bit more. So what I have done, and pardon the shaking of this really quick here, these are some paints by Versamark and well, not by Versamark, but by the brand that makes Versamark. And this is something that Stampin' Up! used to sell several years ago. It came out in our holiday catalog, and it has since retired. But I love this stuff. And your other option, you could use white craft ink. You could use um, a white ink spray, a shimmer ink spray. Uh, you could try Wink of Stella, but it's probably not going to show up very well. Just the sparkle, but it's a clear base. Um, let's see what else you could use. I said craft ink, um, white, go white gauche, it, which is a type of paint that mixes really well with water that makes pretty splatters, uh, you know, really anything. And I'm just going to mix, th mix this with a little bit of water. And normally I would hit this off a block but that would be really loud in a video. So I'm just gonna hit it off my hand. And you do not have to mix with water, at least if you, if you have some of this in your stash, you don't have to mix any of it with water. But I do it because it thins it out a little bit and it allows, to, allows the product to dry faster. So, and for the purpose of a video, it works a little bit better. So I'm gonna wipe. You should see my, I have this magazine holder that I keep my catalogs in and stuff. And um, it looks like yesterday or the day before when I was using this, I just splattered it all over my magazine holder. Okay, so there we have it with the splatter. And then I'm going to bring in these embellishments here. And I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. That's what I think these ones are. Does it tell me on the outside? It does not. I think they're Knight of Navy though but I like that they have the, oh, my Lanta, you guys, I, I give up. I like that they have the different shades. I need, I need scissors to do this, I think. Sorry. It's only impossible when you're trying to film. Otherwise, everything just works smooth as silk. And then one more. Which we are gonna put down here by the sentiment. And we are done with that one. And hopefully you can kind of see the shimmer that that paint 
gives. But I thought that was really fun. I love bright colors. And then our last one is going to be a Melon Mambo card base. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to leave the grid paper here because we're going to have to do some more painting. So might as well just leave it on the screen. So we have our A2 Melon Mambo card base. And then our striped piece is three and a quarter by four. So we'll go ahead and put that down. And then our star piece is two and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then we have our circle here and we are going to stamp you mean so much to me in blueberry bushel. And we are going to need to use our pick a punch again, or pick a, I think it's pick a, I don't remember, I named it before, now I can't remember what it is. I really probably need to record earlier in the day. And this is the banner one. So we're just gonna make a cute little banner out of that strip of paper. And this strip of paper is a quarter by three and a quarter. So this is gonna be popped up So I'll add a few dimensionals to the back here. Oh, I have an ombre dot stuck to my hand. Okay, and this will just adhere down with some adhesive, liquid adhesive. I feel like this is a little crooked, so. Excuse me just a second while I pull it off and put it back down. There we go. Okay, so we need to add a little bit more of this shimmer paint. better than using the back of my hand is just tapping the brush. All right, let's set that aside. And then for this card, I used our rhinestones, which I really need to replenish. I have three partial packs, but they're all missing one size, unfortunately, because I colored way too many of them with Melon Mambo some time back, and that makes them not very usable on all my projects. So we're just going to add some of these right up here. And my paint still is a little bit dry, or I mean a little bit wet, but I'm adding these anyways. I feel like this putty tool just works better with some embellishments. 
At least that's the story I'm going to tell. And there we have that card with more fun shimmer paint. So let me remove the grid paper here. I've got like a lovely big mess. And I will grab the other cards. Get some of this disaster out of the way so there isn't a ton of distractions. And there we have it. What do you guys think? I hope you like them. I feel like they're fairly easy to make and only use one piece of designer series paper, which is a bonus and still leaves you some over from said sheet since we just used the patterns on both sides. So as I said, all of the measurements and products and everything will be on my blog. So if you missed any of the measurements, those will be there. But you can also go back and watch the video. And if you have any suggestions for what sets or bundles or paper you would like me to use during this series, please let me know. I would be happy to create something based on community suggestion. And again, if you would like to join me in my 30 day gratitude challenge on Instagram, you can find me there. My handle is at stamp with Marcy, just as it is on all social media platforms. And I would love to have you join me. So until next time, which will be Wednesday, I will have another video going up that is for my weekly card class and I would love to have you there. I hope you all have an absolutely fabulous day and a great holiday weekend if you're watching from the States. Thanks so much everybody. Goodbye.